Sneaker designers get their work ripped off all the time, but what happens when their own brand does it? Let's discuss. But first, I want to give a huge thank you to Soul Premise for being such a long-time supporter of the channel. My Soul Premise bag is my go-to bag whenever I travel. In fact, I was just in San Francisco over the weekend, and I traveled exclusively with my Soul Premise bags, in particular the Soul Premise duffel bag. And seriously, I don't know what I would have done without my Soul Premise bags because I bought some sneakers on the trip, I brought some sneakers on the trip, I ended up coming back home with like four different pairs of sneakers. But the good news was, because Soul Premise bags are TSA approved. I was able to bring them with me on the plane rather than having to check my valuable sneakers, which is so stressful if you're a sneakerhead. And not only am I able to store up to five pairs of sneakers in my Soul Premise backpack, but I was also able to bring back an entire sneaker box with sneakers in it in my duffel bag. Needless to say, Soul Premise saved the day. And if you guys are sneakerheads and you want to travel with your sneakers, I definitely recommend checking out Soul Premise by clicking the link in the top of the description below. And of course, if you're grabbing a Soul Premise bag, make sure to use my code Seth for 40% off your entire purchase. It's an insane discount. And once again, huge thank you to Soul Premise for supporting the channel. So over the last couple months, it seems to have become much more commonplace for brands to take sneakers that they worked on with collaborators and essentially redesign those sneakers and make them a brand new silhouette that's a little bit cheaper, a little bit more of a budget version, and much more widely available. Now while this seems to be a practice that's been done for years, I mean it's essentially a brand capitalizing on the hype of a collaborator's release by releasing something that sort of looks like it but isn't exactly the same thing, what I always thought was that the collaborator was aware that the brand was working on on something that was similar to their design in the background. But as we saw with Kanye West and his Yeezy slides versus the Adidas Adelettes, it seems like a lot of these collaborators actually didn't know that the brand was coming out with a shoe that's very similar to their own creation. And recently it started to look like that Kanye West is not the only person that this is happening to. So in today's video, I want to talk about Salehi Bembry's collaboration with Crocs on the Pollux Clog, seemingly an original design by Salehi Bembry that Crocs apparently now is releasing their own version of. But before we get into this video, I should start things off with a little bit of a disclaimer. Like I'm a huge fan of Kanye West and his design work, I'm also a very big fan of Salehi Bembry and all the collaborations that he's done. In particular, the Pollux clogs with Crocs and also his work with New Balance. So in today's video, I'm gonna try and stay as unbiased as possible and I'm holding you guys in the comment section down below accountable to hold me accountable that I'm staying as unbiased as I possibly can. And I'm going to try and not let the fact that I'm a fan of Salehi Bembry cloud my judgment when I talk about this topic because obviously, it's a nuanced topic. There's probably a lot of things going on in the background that I have no idea about, and I just want to make sure that you guys know that I'm trying to stay as unbiased as possible. With that being said, to give you guys some background on what I'm talking about, about a month ago, a YouTube channel called Private Selection, which by the way, if you guys aren't subscribed to, you definitely should subscribe to. They're a great sneaker YouTube channel. But they posted a video of Salehi Bembry's Crocs next to an upcoming or allegedly upcoming pair of Crocs called the Crocs Echo, which by the way, I think is a hilarious name, especially because those Crocs look very similar to Salehi Bembry's Crocs. But essentially, Essentially, in the video, Private Selection showed off the similarities between the two shoes and asked the question whether Salehi Bembry was going to be Kanye, essentially saying, is Crocs going to bite off Salehi Bembry's design? And it really got me thinking, is Crocs really trying to bite off Salehi Bembry's design? I mean, it's pretty obvious that they're at least trying to ride his coattails and the hype train to success, but are they really trying to take a design from one of their biggest collaborators, Salehi Bembry, and repurpose it and essentially redesign it into a shoe that they can sell to a much wider audience and make a lot of money off of without having to pay Salehi Bembry? And the answer is, I don't know. I mean, I would be surprised if Crocs already had a shoe that looked very similar to this shoe, just waiting in the wings so that they could release it after Salehi Bembry released his collaboration. I really do think that the design of that shoe is probably pretty heavily inspired by this shoe. But at the same time, even if Crocs is biting off Salehi's design, are they in the wrong? Now, as someone who has no law experience whatsoever, I have no idea what they can do and what they can't do legally. I have no idea what the ins and outs of the contract are, but I've heard the argument, especially when it comes to Kanye West and his Yeezy slides versus the Adelette slides, that because it's the same brand, it shouldn't matter. But here's where it kind of gets finicky for me. So I'm a professional designer. I went to college for industrial design. I worked in the industrial design field for about five years before I started doing YouTube full time. And it's something that is really important to me and something that I'm very interested in. And throughout my years as a Designer, I've worked a lot of places. I interned for Martha Stewart for a couple months. I worked at BarkBox as a dog toy designer. I worked in kitchenware for years. I worked at electronics design firms. I worked all over. And one thing I realized throughout my years of design is that the designs that you work on, you become emotionally attached to. It's your work, it's a part of you, and it's something that uh, if someone knocks off, it really gets you. And it's not just about the emotional aspect for the designer because even though that is something that's important, at the end of the day, it's more about ethics. Should a brand create something that's very similar or heavily inspired by another designer that they may or may not actually own the 
design concept to. It's really sort of a weird gray area, and it's one that would become a lot more clear if we knew whether Salehi actually knew about this design happening or whether he didn't know about this design happening. If he knew about this design happening in the background, that's one thing because he knows it's happening, he realizes what they're doing, and that's that. On the other hand, though, if Salehi does not know that they're creating the shoe in the background or didn't know that they were creating the shoe in the background, it becomes a lot more skeevy. And that's something we realized with Kanye West. So I always assumed that designers knew what shoes were coming out from the same brand around the same time and whether shoes were being designed that were based on their shoes. Like, I always thought that. I don't know why I thought that, but I always assumed that to be the case. And it became apparent with Kanye West and him coming out saying that he was not involved in the Adelet design whatsoever, that a lot of times brands may not tell their collaborators what else they're releasing, even if it is inspired by that collaborator's design. And I feel like in the case of the Salehi Benbury Crocs, if Salehi did not know about the Crocs Echoes coming out, then that's a really bad look on Crocs' part because the design of that shoe is very obviously inspired by the Salehi Benbury Crocs, and it becomes even more obvious when you realize that the Crocs Echoes are releasing very soon after the most recent release of the Salehi Benbury Pollux Crocs. Again, I don't think it's wrong if a brand releases a shoe that looks similar to a shoe that they've created with a collaborator. When I think it's wrong, or I guess unethical, is when they don't tell that collaborator about that shoe releasing and essentially profit off a smaller designer's design without giving them credit or any kind of monetary incentive or anything like that. That really sucks. It almost feels like they're literally ripping off the design. And it's crazy to me that it's possible that Crocs would actually do something like this to one of their biggest designers, the designer who essentially took Crocs and brought them to the sneaker world and made them hype. I mean, sure, Crocs have always been popular, especially with normies, as I like to call them, but within the sneaker world, they were never a shoe that sneakerheads really wore, but because of collaborators like Salehi Bembry, in fact, in my opinion, mostly because of Salehi Bembry, Crocs are now something that sneakerheads are not only not ashamed to wear, but really love to show off. I mean, I own multiple pairs of Salehi Bembry's Crocs. Like I said, I'm a fan of the guy, I'm a fan of his shoes. I've reviewed multiple pairs of these. I've reviewed this colorway and the green colorway, and there's something about this shoe, or something Something about this design that's almost transcendent over a standard pair of Crocs. He created a shoe that was based around his fingerprint, but then used that fingerprint to create this beautiful sculptural upper, which is something that we haven't really seen before, not only on pairs of Crocs, but on a lot of different pairs of sneakers. I mean, this is a pretty new and interesting look. And because this design is so unique and so out there, it really makes the Croc Echo look that much worse, in my opinion. It just looks like a really bad budget discount version of this shoe. I mean, it looks like something that you'd find on Alibaba, not something that you'd buy from the same brand that makes this shoe. And I mean, it's possible that Crocs designed that shoe without being inspired by this shoe. I mean, it is, I guess, in theory possible, but it's really hard to believe that when the timing of that release or the assumed timing of that release is so close to the release of this shoe and the aesthetic and the look of that shoe is so similar to this shoe, it's hard to believe that Crocs created that in a vacuum and wasn't inspired by one of their most popular silhouettes. Now, in my opinion, as a consumer, as someone who loves the Salehi Benbury Crocs, I would just love Crocs to release a bunch of these. Just flood the market with the Salehi Benbury Crocs. I realize that the contract probably doesn't involve that at all. I'm sure it's a limited edition deal and it's only supposed to release in limited quantities, but if Crocs really wants to create something that a lot of people are gonna love and pay their dues to the designer of the shoe, just create a bunch of them. Don't create some off-brand knockoff version of the shoe. Create the same shoe in a bunch of different colorways and allow everyone to enjoy them and let the designer get his credit. And I mean, it kind of sucks to make this video because I am genuinely a fan of Crocs. I have multiple pairs, not just the Salehis. I even have the KFCs, which let me tell you, smell awful. And the only reason I'm keeping these is because I like the way that they look. I mean, this smell, it smells like chicken, but it doesn't smell like chicken. It smells just the worst. I'd have to be a fan of Crocs to actually hold on to these. It sucks that a brand that I really like does something like this, or presumably does something like this, to one of their top creators that brought Crocs or brought their shoes to a whole new market. And honestly, the timing of this couldn't have been better, or I guess worse for Crocs, because with Kanye West coming out and saying that Adidas is doing this to him, the fact that it looks like Crocs is doing this to Salehi, uh, really is gonna blow this story up and make it something that a lot of people are gonna hear about. But because of Crocs timing, now everyone's gonna be asking Crocs, did Salehi know that you were creating a shoe that looked just like his shoe? I mean, really, they just did it to themselves. They're the ones who decided to release a uh, very similar version of one of their most popular sneakers and uh, I think it's gonna bite them in the butt. But that's pretty much it. That was just me word vomiting for the last 20 minutes. If you guys have any thoughts on this situation, make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to discuss with you what you guys think about the Crocs Echo versus the Salehi Benbury Crocs. Whether you feel like Crocs is in the wrong to take Salehi's design if they took his design, or whether you feel like this is totally justifiable and they can do whatever they want, let me know your thoughts again in the comment section down below. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see See you all in the next one.